gets hot out there now, but I got that order done, 1,000 worms. It's a guy that has an aviary, so he's got quail and budgies and things like that, and he puts them in around the bottom of the aviary and they go through and dig them up. And I said to him, look, all you gotta do is maybe cut the worm farm in half and just use one of the trays and stick it in the ground and it'll be like a bit of an underground worm farm, cover it with the lid and give them a bit of food. And then come back once a month and top them up. And that's a pretty good return repeat customer. I like those ones and I'm not chasing, having to chase new customers all the time. And then I know uh, some customers that I have to turn away because they just don't have enough worms. But the repeat ones, they're really good for business, I find. Now I've got some basil to harvest tomorrow, two big bunches for one of the restaurants. I've got three, two restaurants to supply. We've microgreens, and then also they'll take a couple of bags of cherry tomato. So good day tomorrow, I reckon. And this day I'm just producing content for you guys. Look, thanks everyone for your support so far. You know, talking about Patreon and different things like that. I don't know if I have enough people to go into Patreon. Maybe I should do that. Let me know what you think uh, down below if that's really possible for me. And also, I just keep, need to keep carrying on here and just keep plugging away. I've got a year lease on this place. I could just make it happen. I've still got my part-time job at the school. So things aren't too bad. It's just getting more and more expensive to live each and every day, right? And I'm a little bit worried about the future ahead. But anyway, let's keep rolling on and keep enjoying life. Keep following the stories here because Marty's Garden is not out of the woods yet, my friends. It really isn't and uh, we need some cool things to happen. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening. We'll see you at the next vlog slash video real soon. Bye for now.